Developing now at 10, police are searching for the woman responsible for a deadly hit and run on Indy's northwest side. Investigators say they know who their suspect is, and now it's just a matter of finding her. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beer Shalad And I'm Dan Spieler. This deadly crash left a 32-year-old woman dead and her family now begging for answers. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara breaks down everything we know as police search for the suspect. Investigators are zeroing in on a 22-year-old woman they believe is responsible for causing a fatal crash and taking off, leaving the victim at the scene last month. Female pedestrian versus vehicle. Female is down on the ground, not breathing. That was the night 32-year-old Dominique Berryhill was hit by a car and killed as she reportedly stood outside talking to a friend. This is a tragic incident. I mean, a, a young life was lost. A family and her friends are grieving over this and it's not easy thing for our officers to respond to and our detectives got hard at work to help identify a suspect. Court documents describe the driver of a Dodge Charger hitting the gas, burning rubber and doing donuts at Riverside Park before speeding away and losing control of the car. That's when police say 22 year old Arosiana Felton crashed into another car and Berry Hill. Witnesses told police Felton and a passenger got out and ran despite others yelling at them to stop. Families are impacted. Lives are destroyed because of an incident like this. You know, when you're behind the wheel, it's your responsibility. And it's the law that if you're involved in an incident to stop at or near the scene, and especially if injury is suspected. IMPD officials say a combination of anonymous tips, witness information, and evidence from the car left at the scene pointed them to Felton, who faces charges of reckless homicide, failure to remain on scene, and driving without a license. But they still need more help to track her down. Having the community's cooperation is, is paramount because these are our neighbors. You know, a family is grieving. A community is looking for answers. And being able to find the whereabouts of this individual is a uh, top priority. Barry Hill's family is asking the suspect to turn herself in. One relative said in a statement, quote, We are not at peace just yet until she is served and served the right way. Adding, quote, She killed our family member and left her there. We are happy to hear a warrant has been issued, and yes, we are getting somewhere with justice. As always, IMPD says if you have any information on this suspect's whereabouts, to contact detectives, or you can send an anonymous tip through Crime Stoppers. In the newsroom, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.